Hello, this is a quick video to try to help clear up some problems with the T value. Uh, here we have a, a column of no texting data and we have a column of texting data. You can see down here I've got the mean in yellow, the variance in green, the standard deviation in blue, the standard error in red, and here in orange I have the T test. Where I messed up and totally forgot is the T test goes directly to giving you the P value. It does not give you a T value, it gives you a P value, the probability value. This you're comparing to the 5% cutoff. So if this number is below 5%, which this number is way below 5% because it's to the negative seventh, you are going to reject your null hypothesis. There is a significant difference in the data. If this number is above 5%, then you would fail to reject the hypotheses. Now, in order to get the actual T value, you have to go back to the formula. Uh, so for the formula, remember you're going to take the absolute value I'm going to switch to a pen here. I'm going to take the absolute value of the mean of x1, subtract the mean of x2, and again, that's going to be absolute value, and you're going to divide that. The simplest way, since you already have it, is the standard error, and I apologize, I'm not real good at manipulating this pen here, the standard error of 1, sample 1, plus the standard error of sample 2. So in one set of data's case, I'll use the example. I think this one is from second hour. OK. So in the second hour, the, the means uh, were point th of, was, of one group was 0 0.312. And I'm going to subtract, and I, again, very rudimentary with this pen here, subtract 0 0.9, wow. 7, 0, and that's going to get divided by the standard error for sample 1 was 0 0.009, and the standard error for the other one was 0 0.075. If I do that, that's going to be equivalent to 0.666 divided by 0.084. And if I do that division, that's going to come up with 7.93. This is my T value or my T observed value, the T I observed. That's the number then that I want to compare to the cutoff value they give of 1.98. If this number is above 1.98, just like with the chi-square, I'm going to reject the null hypothesis, which means texting did have an effect. If this was below the cutoff of 1.98, then I would fail to cut, fail to reject the hypotheses. So the spreadsheet's going to give you the probability directly, which you can compare to 5%. But to actually get the t-value, you have to hand calculate it using this uh, fairly simple formula. Hopefully that clears up the problem. Have a good night.